Hit it, Logan. It's X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of X92.9's X Afternoon's extracurricular activities. Enjoy. Episode 21. We did it. Are we going to say this week on X After Hours? This week on X After Hours. What the fuck is with them talking about Googie Max? Eggs are a hot item these days. You want to be the pickle slut of the office? Up, up, up. Okay. <laughs> Episode 21, we yeah. did it! Why are we celebrating 21? That's more celebration we gave than 20. Yeah, yeah we actually 20s. have a new exciting thing for review of the week later on in the show. It's going to change... Everything you know about this podcast, wow. and then some. So hard hitting. So stick around for that. Uh, hey, you know what? Sometimes I feel like we're getting some new listeners on this podcast, so I thought maybe we should just introduce ourselves um, a little bit because we are past the twenty episode threshold. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Mariah and Ty, you can listen to us on Calgary's Alternative X ninety two nine. We're we're uh, do a radio show in Calgary, but then we we do this which is uncensored, and we have Sam Phelps joining us. He's Always. our weekend host on X, so yeah. that's Sam. Say hi. Introduce yourself. Hi, buddy. Say your name. My name's Sam. Hi. Fantastic. Uh, no, I do all the digitals too for X. Yeah, so you, you I'm usually do. here during the week, but you I'm and Logan behind the scenes. make the magic happen. And Logan in the back doing production. So I'm Ty. That's Mariah, and let's meet the beers. <gasps> I. Uh, and that's Mariah almost spilling on herself. I actually picked these up last night from Two House Brewing Co. here in the city. I'd never been before. Very cool spot. Looked like they got some great pizza. And it was right next to the Sentry Box. So it was very, very cool, which is a cool board game store. But this is a Raspberry Pie oh. Sour. I would like to Did thank you. Did you spill our... some more on yourself? It just went everywhere. This is the fullest fucking beer ever. I... There is no... Breathing room in they this. They don't skimp on it. Two Houses Brewing Co. Look at this. Two House Brewing Look Co. Look at the meniscus line. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. I'd like to thank Ty for this. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice raspberry pie sour. Okay. Don't explode. Don't explode. Um, I'm not tasting the raspberry yet. It exploded. Fuck. You don't taste that? Yeah, it's got that raspberry tartness. Well, it's good. good. I'm waiting for the raspberry. I like it. I'm li- I like it, but uh, initial taste is I wish it was a little bit more. Raspberry. Yeah. You just want a, gl- a jar of jam. I was hoping it was going to be pink in color, too. Oh, that's it's pretty good, good, though. It tastes more that's like a cider. Good. It's like a nice drink you could have on a hot summer day. That's for sure. And we picked a great day for that. It's pouring rain outside. Yeah. Absolutely pouring rain outside. Um, but it wasn't raining when Hotel Mira was in town. And you actually got to interview them, right, Sam? I did. Good I did. guys. Oh, they were awesome. I was at the show, and I was thinking to myself, I have never seen someone I work with be so famous in the city they work in. And I'm talking about our music director here at X, Matt Barry, because they stopped in the middle of their show to thank X929, which was very cool. But then they gave a special shout out to Matt. I wish I would have been filming that. I didn't know they were going to do that. Um, but like specifically Matt Berry. And he did get some cheers. So good for you, Matt. And they actually did that during um, their show when they opened for uh, Dear Rouge. Oh, yeah. At Christmas. I actually have a video of it. So I'll throw it over top here. But they like thanked him for how great he was and wished him a happy birthday. Oh, yeah. To Matt, who couldn't be here tonight because he's sick and he cares all about you so much. We love you, Matt. Happy birthday. They're I do great. remember that, People, actually. They, they shout out Matt Berry a lot at a lot of the concerts we go to. I think a lot of bands shout out Matt Berry because Matt is different in this industry and he actually gives people a chance. It's With true. A lot of people don't know in radio, a lot of um, music choices usually come from like a different person in a different city than the actual station is. Or they just like don't have the ability to actually go against the grain. The grain. Yeah. I'm going to text Matt and say, how does it feel to be so well known amongst bands in Canada? And we'll, we'll report back later. With what he has to say. He's going to go, what do you mean, and laugh. Uh, he'll be too humble. I wonder if he'll know we're recording the podcast or not, and he'll pick up on something. Uh, but Matt also is going to be working in Red Deer more, which was very exciting. Good big promotion for Matt Barry. Still in Calgary. 
but we were joking like, what's the most popular spot in Gasoline Alley in Red Deer? He's going to have to start her. driving up there quite a bit. Matt yeah. doesn't drive, which is funny. I think his fiance or his now wife is actually going to be probably doing the drive for him. Is, is X929 going to hire him a chauffeur or? It's you. It's you, <laughs> Sam. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, Sam's, his new name is Wheels on X. Yeah. <laughs> Digital content producer, swing show host, Matt Berry's driver. Yeah. Um, if it was like the early 2000s, that might be a thing in radio. I could see it. Where somebody would have to drive a host, another host. Yeah, 100%. I agree with that. Um, what do you I, think, though? Best uh, spot in Red Deer, Gasoline Alley? Donut Mill. Because we talked about this earlier this week. I think that when you say best spot, do you mean like most popular because it's mainstream, or do you mean like hidden gem best spot? Do I want to know busyness? what's the king of Red Deer. Like, what's the business that gets the most business, most customers? Do you think it's the donut mill? I would say the donut mill is like highly accredited and known that it's a Red Deer thing. You can't get them anywhere else. Red Deer's the spot. Peter's driving could be up there. It is. Can yeah. somebody explain this to me? Sorry, before we move on from Peter's driving. Is it the same as it is in Calgary? Because it doesn't seem the same. So it, it doesn't taste exactly the same because I think the employees are different. So it's cooked like the tiniest bit different. But, but it I is just, like the but same. Sam, that's like saying McDonald's product. will taste different places. Yeah, every place you, you go. You can get chicken McNuggets you, at one location that are cooked less than the other. Well, not, but um, I just like different recipes, flavor, different products. Like it's it the seems, same. Like really? if you go, the menu is exactly the same. Really? Um, I like, I like. Peters, and I, this is something that actually I've kind of thought about a little bit more too, um, is like why I actually like Peters. Because if you actually boil it down, the burger and the food are extremely mid. It's not good. Like it, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's like Their a fries are good. He's a, a coming out swinging today. Well, okay. So, like, I've had it since I was a little kid. When How I, old are we talking? Kid, Two years old? Amazing. One year old? Eating a little Peters? I'm sure my dad probably snuck me a fry Baby's or two. first burger? Yeah. Baby's first banana milkshake, you know? Oh. Um, now, like, I can go and just get a milkshake. I don't want the food. It's not that great. I think McDonald's is still king of Red Deer, I bet, if you I... check the numbers. Mm. What about Those... A-Dubs? A-Dubs A-W. probably was pretty good up there. A-N-W. I, think, I think it's under construction right now, that A&W. Uh, they also have a store there that I make a uh, point to stop at. Um, it's a really nice, like, deluxe candy store. I can't remember the name of it, but it's on the very first half of gasoline alley and they win they've won before for nicest gas station bathroom in oh, Canada. so that's why you're stopping because they have a nice bathroom because i can get green frogs there in different sizes nice if you know if the bathroom's clean everything else there is clean it's gorgeous like it it doesn't seem like it should be just at gasoline alley it seems too nice it's this bougie candy store and then you go in and it's just yeah, yeah it's like a different world if you're sorting solely by ratings the king of gasoline alley food places is Boulevard Restaurant and Lounge. What is that? It's the is it place in gasoline eat. alley? Is it on gasoline alley? Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, Red Deer County. And that's then zoom in on the map. I don't believe it's there. Yeah, it's, it's like on gasoline alley east. It's on oh, the on east the other side. side. On the other side. Yeah, but it's still in gasoline alley. And then the other one is uh, Taco Monster Inc. No, I that's mean that sounds ratings, pretty good. Though. Because well, I feel like like McDonald's probably gets some hate ratings. See all the all the top spots. I'm on the Googie Maps right now. The Googie. For Googie Maps. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Googie Maps, everybody. You guys ever heard that before? There's the title of the episode. Googie Maps. <laughs> There's the teaser next week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen, the Goog. Um. Googie. Don't <laughs> try to dig yourself out of that hole. You said Googie. Anyways, I'm going to lose you it You think we're tired? <laughs> <laughs> you think the person listening to this thinks Googie Maps is funny? We got. I think we got hate love for our last podcast talking about Orange Gatorade. Now somebody's <laughs> going to be like, what the fuck is with them talking about Googie Maps? Yeah, well. Anyways... What is the king of Red Deer, please? Um, what does Googie say? <laughs> okay. All, right. All the restaurants that 
<laughs> all the restaurants that are on the Googie um, are not fast food that are popping up on Gasoline Alley. Half these places I didn't even know were here. Like, at all. There's uh, Toad and Turtle. That's Cilantro a and Chive. Uh, the Greenery. I think Cilantro and Chive is in, like, Lacombe. Is it not? I don't trust Googie Maps anymore, you guys. I'm looking at Googie. <laughs> I'm going to bust out the old Bing. I'm trying to sort by negative reviews. Because I, I, I know the king of Gasoline Alley is like a good question, we but won't? what is the dumpster of guys, Gasoline Alley? Guys, we're not going to find <laughs> out who the king of Red Deer is with Googie Maps. We're going to have to just tell me what is your pick for the king of Red Deer. If you're don't going have through... Out. You're picking donut milk? Sam, what are you picking? McDonald's. McDonald's. That's Sam, the tried and true. It's it, well, it's the basic pick, but it's the tried and true They also have a really one. good Edo Japan there. I go to Opa. That's my pick. Okay. Extreme Pita is always closed. I'd love to get extreme with a pita, but every time I go, never open. That's a thing that really doesn't exist in Calgary is extreme pita, and I was fucking mad about it when I moved here. Like there are minimal locations. It's too extreme. We have pita pit, though. They're also not around either. Mount Royal, kind of. Close yeah, I'm just going to drive to Mount Royal <laughs> from Airdrie. That'd be a good commercial for the product. How far will you go for Pita Pit? 45 minutes? Yeah. Let's go. Heat it up again when you get home. I would have wow. that at least twice a week when I was in university. It's it delicious. right by the campus. So good. Um, okay, so what's your pick? I'm saying Opa. So, Matt, when you're in Red Deer, Mr. Matt Berry, because you got that promotion. And all those Red Deer bands are like, Matt, we want to take you for lunch because we love you so much. Say, I want to go to Opa. Unless it's Wednesday, go get a Whopper Wednesday at Burger King. That's not in Gasoline Alley, though, but Opa is, so. Okay. What are you saying? Go get donuts? And you can get lunch at Donut Mill. That's what makes it so fucking great. Was it like donuts with a side of donut bites? Um, it's donuts with like a sandwich and soups. Oh. You guys think the cleaning staff's going to walk in on the podcast? We're hearing some rumblings outside. Could happen. Sam, your pick. Oh, McDonald's. Yeah, you said McDonald's. Oh, okay. McDonald's. It, here's the thing. Like, McDonald's is just easy. The, the lineup's never too long. It's just, it's just easy. You know what's there. You know your favorites. This is the same man who every podcast we record goes to Pin Bar and gets the exact same I had same to ask dinner. him twice because I was like, there's no way he said McDonald's. Let's ask him again. Yeah. Hey, well, don't knock the double cheese with a side of tater tots for $11. I, I they have tater tots at McDonald's? No, no, no pin, pin, pin Bar. Oh. Oh, Jesus. yeah, no. McDonald's order, it's 10-piece nuggies. Of course, classic. Ten piece nuggies. You give them a review on your Googie, then you're out the door. <laughs> it's X After Hours with Mariah and Ty. It's like X Afternoons, but in podcast form. So earlier this week on our actual radio show, Ty and I were chatting about daytime game shows, right? Because we were talking Pat about Pat Sajak is out. That's right. He's he's retiring or what have you. And then we started talking about the prices, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm way more of a Price is Right gal versus a Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy. Drew Carey, he's got charisma. Like, he just, uh, give me any grocery store food item, I'll get the price, especially with these inflation prices. And is then it I just thought, grocery store stuff on that I know uh, there's a category on that that you would have to guess that, but there's other things that you guess, like big prize packs, trips. Is Price is Right on when we're on the radio? It's on in the morning, like 10 a.m. Do you ever watch it before work? I, maybe I should. You have cable. I, yeah, I know. I watch it on Mondays when I'm off work. I used to watch it when I was in high school. <laughs> Skipping class? Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. Da, da, Come da, da, on now. Oh, my God. It's, Tell them what he's won. Yeah, it's such a dumb format, but it's so fun. What do you mean? I want to spin the fucking wheel, man. Uh, okay, so, Logan, if you will, uh, we're going to be playing a game called The Price on Marketplace. The Price on Marketplace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, fellas, I have a couple things saved on Marketplace that I <laughs> either found interesting or actually have an interest in buying. I'm going to describe said Marketplace item to you. You're going to have to try and get the price. Okay. Get that price. Who gets his first? Um... You know, I'll give it to Sam. Young man Sam can just go first. I am. Right. A I think it's better fiend. to go 
second. So go yeah. ahead. Do that. All right. <clears throat> First item up on the docket. Listed as a 60s vintage beer drinking hat with folk art on it. Vintage from the 1960s beer drinking hat made out of beer cans and yarn. Perfect for beer garden fun and shenanigans. Closest bid wins, right? Oh, my God. So it's a homemade item? Yeah. I'm going to say like $9. Um, closest bid wins? You want to go higher? How does that work? Higher, higher or lower? lower yeah. yeah. If I was going to do a Price is Right style, I would say $9.01. But <laughs> Yeah, you would. I hate those people. They're like, mm, $1,000 uh, and one. I won't do that. I'll say because people like to think their home crafted items are sometimes worth more than they are. And sometimes they truly are. Uh, but for a, a, a beer drinking hat that was homemade, 75 bucks tops. Okay, Sam wins this one. He's closer. It is listed at $20. Of course, we're going to have this image flash across the screen. But for you guys to look at right now, do you see that? Oh, if I were to know what that looked like, then yeah. You can't see. Okay, I'd have done a $9.01 bid. It's pretty funny, though. I was like, oh, I'll give this guy. Look, he even crafted the yarn, so it looks like you got hair on the top of the hat. Lovely. Yeah, really what great. What community is that listed in? Airdrie. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, all right. Next up on the docket. It is an egg chair. They're very sought after for the outside. $279. Okay. $279. An egg chair. An egg chair. An egg chair. All they put in the description is, I have two egg chairs. Blank for each. What would you like to say? I'm going to say... I probably overshot it here. You said 200 something? It's $279. I'm going to go 100 100. Sam takes a win again. What the fuck? That's right. Two egg chairs, $400 each. Here's yeah. the pristine egg chair. These See, I thought it would look like an actual egg. And I didn't know it was going to be like a... Yeah, they got the weird like netting thing, basket. Right? Exactly. You're on your marketplace Dude, shit, Sam. Well, because Chloe bought one. And oh, really? It takes forever to find them. People like will buy them as soon as stores get them in stock because mm -hmm. they're just like... Eggs trendy. are a hot item these days. They, Even the chairs. Uh, they definitely are. And in games. All right, guys, here's another product and the final product of the day. Redemption for me here. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to try and buy this so we can review this as an NSFW product. Listed as a pickle slut crew neck sweater. Brand new made to order. Turnaround is approximately seven business days at a time. Let me know. Pickle slut crew neck sweater. I'm going to have to guess with how much you'd be willing to spend on that if you're actually going to order one. Thirty-eight dollars. I'm gonna go thirty-five. Thirty-seven dollars. Oh. How did you know that? Did you see the screen? No, I just made a guess. I was like, "There's no way Mariah's paying over forty for That's anything right. on Marketplace. Look at how it's good a sweater." This is. Look at this pickle slut. Wow. Brand new pickle slut. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I think I saw that sweater. Did you? And yeah. And you Still also lost. wanted one. You want to be the pickle slut of the office? I am the pickle slut of the office. I've never <laughs> seen you eat a pickle, There's Sam. a video of me drinking pickle juice straight from the jar. Like, He's the no, pickle, I'm the pickle slut, slut of the slut, office. Man. All right, I'll get us Although I will eat. say dill pickle, not sweet pickle. Yeah, of course. Dude, yeah. I'll eat any pickle. I don't care. Of course you will. Because I'm the real pickle slut. You, you look like it with that one. <laughs> uh, what was the last thing you bought on Marketplace? Um, I actually just sent a message while we were at work about this item. Uh, I wanted to buy this, uh, look how nice this is. It's a vintage, like, choker necklace. Ten bucks. And that's, uh, for use in the bedroom. It's a choker necklace. You choke people. Are you fucking kidding me? No, that's not what it is. My family listens to this podcast. They know what a choker a necklace decorative is. decorative necklace, you ding dong. All right, on to the, the next. Sam, congrats. You win, and I'll get you a pickle slut shirt as a prize, maybe. Well, you actually you get just going to write it on a white shirt for me. Yeah. Yeah, you're wearing one right now. She might just go draw a pickle on it and write slut on it for we you. Just when we come back from break, it'll just say pickle slut. Pickle slut. You're diving a little deeper into the world of Mariah and Ty with the X After Hours podcast. And now it's time for Mariah and Ty's review of the week. It's time for Mariah and Ty's Review of the Week. I still have the Price is Right theme song in my head. I'm going to kick it off because I'm reviewing an app 
that you might actually like. Not that little man sitting on your leg? No. Uh, there is a little man on my leg if you're not watching the uh, the podcast. But it's an app I got. What is it called again? It's called Shapes, I believe. And it's like a app you're supposed to play before bed mm. to like meditate and relax. And it's a very addictive puzzle game. Listen to this music. Isn't the trend supposed to be to not have screen time before you go to bed? Yeah, but if you're going to do it anyways, you might as well play this puzzle game. Yeah, sure. You just keep clicking it until you make the shape it's trying to make. What do you mean? So just click around on the screen and rotate the pieces. And when you make the shape... Oh, I don't enjoy this. Oh, you don't like a puzzle? Um, um... Do you like puzzle games? It's taking a lot of your focus away right now. I... Can you move them? Yes, you tap on them. Oh, and you just keep tapping. You rotate them, and then it makes the shape. You don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, I, I think I think I'm getting it. Yeah, when you get it, it feels real nice. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is correct, though. Oh, fuck, I've done it. Well, it would say it you've done it if you win it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like this. Take that back. That would make me more frustrated than anything. Uh, but, yeah, I, I actually think it's quite nice, but I've mostly been playing it, like, in the mornings when I'm just, like sitting there getting ready for work or whatever i don't know it's quite fun it's nice to have a game on my phone that's not bombarding me with ads even though i'm sure it's gonna come and i'm not much of a phone gamer this one doesn't send me notifications and pop-ups well that's kind of nice it's better than the save the dog from the bees game i was playing before oh i remember that game so that I... one you see that you, you see the ad on tiktok or whatever you have to draw like the little triangle yeah i loved it. that game but man it just was full of Ads, uh, the same. Look at we did it. That's what it was supposed to be. Yeah. I was not getting that at all. Oh, it's great. Ugh, those that games stress nice. me out. That feels. Uh, nice. But yeah, I used to play this game called Save the Dog from the Bees, and uh, there was a lot of ads on that game, and I just wanted to save the dog from the bees, and I've been looking for a, a, something to fill that void in my life for a while. So, <laughs> I give this three out of five bees find that game on Googie? I found it on the Googie Play Store. Also, I know I said we would text Matt at the start of this podcast. He has not texted back, so... Uh, that guy. Friendship with him, you know? It doesn't matter. I sent nine follow-up texts as well during the break. No response. What not idiot. unhinged at all. No way. Um, can I review my guy? Yeah. Hey, your dollar store product? Yeah. Yeah! He's back. Oh, I got his tag off finally. All right. This little fella is a Mon toy. Um, we had him on earlier on the show, on our actual show, because we were talking about the dollar store toys that you used to get as a kid. And I found this guy. I thought I'd make a trip to the dollar store. I love him. He's very cute. And I think I'm going to name him Googie. You're going to name him Googie. Sam, can you insert the clip of me almost hitting Mariah in the head live on the radio here? I got Because that also happened with the dollar store toys. Oh, that was so close to my yeah, that did almost hit your face. Oh, my God. <laughs> did you do that on purpose? Yeah. Totally. That was fucked. I brought you these toys, and then you whipped it at my face. I felt it brush my eyelashes. Um, yeah, but it was a sticky toy. It got stuck to my hand. Anyways, Googie is going to join the set now. We both have two... Um, I like him. stressing products. Yeah, today. he's fabulous. I like him. Look, you can you can put the these things in like that. Yeah, you can squeeze. It's a it's one of those toys where you squeeze it and like the bubble of liquid pops out if you if you're not watching. That's all it is. Uh, I like him. I think he's real cute, real high quality product for price at the dollar store. There, I'm gonna give him a five googies. What do you think's five. inside that ball? I don't know. Of liquid. Hopes and dreams. Sparkles. Probably soap and water. It's probably Windex. Sparkles. We have too many dollar store products around us. Oh, that I saw that there as well at the dollar the store. The pickle guy. The yeah, pickle all right, guy. Sam. Okay, so Logan said to not do movie reviews, but I already really had my movie review. I think set yours is week. always movie review. It's just Sam's movie review, um, <laughs> and it isn't a new movie. You're like so. the Green Mile. <laughs> Check it out. So yeah, on, I actually just finished the Green Mile for the first it's time. Good. Yeah, it's fabulous. It's Anyways. A movie. On uh, your Monday, <laughs> I went to Canyon Meadows Cinemas in the southeast, and I saw Attack of the Clones for the first oh time in eight years. Attack of the Clones? Star Wars 2. Oh! That's got to be the worst Star Wars movie of Dude, all time. That Why? movie held up worse really? since the last time I watched it. I think Attack I softened of the on it. Insert the clip where he talks about sand. I don't like sand. 
it's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Wait, oh. which which key? Can somebody refresh? Prequel me? movies, the second one. Oh, so okay. Not the Phantom Menace and yes, not Revenge yes, of the Sith, but yes. this really weird middle one, where like Anakin's thirsting for Padme. Oh yeah. And he hates I didn't mind that he one. Kills all the sand Watch people it again. And, yeah. Really? Is it bad? Is it bad? Oh my God! It doesn't have any pod racing. There's no Darth Maul. There's no Boss Nass. What does Boss Nass do? The whole like. <laughs> yeah, Boss Nass rips. Um, <laughs> and then number time? three, at least we get like some Mace Windu action, whipping more ass. You get the final fight. Yeah. Like, that's sick. Mace Windu but number is two cool. is just. Two is really bad. You know what? I'm going to think about rewatching that now. <laughs> they just. they. I don't know what they were doing. Honestly, they just. They crammed so much into this movie. Hmm. It's just so bad. Um, Who's the guy who plays Anakin? What's his name? Hayden, that Hayden Christensen. Yeah, he's hot. He was hot in his heyday. Man, I should have I should have met him at Comic Con. I balked at the price. Why? How much? He's like two hundred bucks. <laughs> but I mean, like two hundred bucks to meet Darth Vader. Wow. I guess so. I also like to. <laughs> I also like to have money. How? <laughs> kind of. So they put the uh, Attack of the Clones back in theaters. Like, why are you reviewing such an old movie? Like, because it was at Canyon Meadows. They they always like show older movies. So they've been oh. playing like the Lord of the Rings movies. We know nothing. Yeah, but that was like their anniversary. Was it an anniversary of Attack of the Clones? No, I think it's just summer, and they know it'll sell good. Was hmm. it packed? Uh there was like fifteen people there. In the, th the whole theater? It was like 9 o'clock. I don't know. Like oh, okay. 15 other people wanted some late night Attack of the Clones action. And Did they show The Phantom Menace the week before? They're showing it right now. So they showed two and now they're showing one. No, 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 no. They're showing all three at the same time. Oh. So you really, like the way that they've lined it up, you could do a triple feature. I'd go see uh, Boss Nass on a screen again. Do you want to? I'll go see fa the 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 Phantom Menace That's with you. That's what we're reviewing next week. Duel of Fates. Oh. Ba 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 ba. You remember that one? She Mariah, nodded. noted Star Wars fan. She nodded. I actually really did like Star Wars the original ones, but I just can't keep up with the franchise right now. There's too many animated ones. There's too many things Shows. on Disney Plus coming out. Yeah, yeah like I will say. Great move having Donald Glover in the universe, though. Solo. So, my total ranking is 1.5 Boba Fett's out of 10. <laughs> it's a stiff. Or is it rating. Django Fett? Oh. It's Django Fett. I don't Fett. know anymore, Sam. Yeah, it's terrible though. Don't. Okay. If, you, if, you, if you're thinking about a rewatch, don't, don't. But here's where it gets exciting now. We are now going to do Mariah and Ty's Hall of Fame. Logan, hit that. Play it now. And ties Hall of Fame. So we're going to put our products into the Spotify option. If you're listening on Spotify, you can just kind of scroll down and there's an option to vote. And yeah. we'll put it out on Twitter as well. Attack of the Clones. Dollar Store Toy. Googie, his name is. Mariah's Dollar Store Toy named Googie. And my shapes de-stressing app, and one of those <laughs> will be in the Hall of Fame. But Very I think deserving. what we're gonna do leading up to episode twenty-five, which is coming up, we are we going. To pick a, we are going to look back at our other products, and we're going to each pick one to go in the Hall yes. of Fame as well. From but each uh, episode. No, we're gonna oh, narrow it down one, from our previous from episodes. All of the episodes. That's right. Yeah, cool. but uh, this week we you get to vote on what is the inaugural Hall of Fame inductee. Do you think Star Wars fans on Twitter are gonna hijack the vote? So you might have a chance. Yeah. You might have a chance. But if you're listening, go vote right now. If your Spotify has it, it has the video podcast too. It's a good way to listen or watch this. <laughs> I don't think mine'll win. If if my shape's relaxing podcast apple wins that's great uh if googie wins i will be shocked don't be shocked he's a great fellow and if attack of the clones wins i'll be double shocked yeah all right googie in the lead how do you know that yet how do you know he's already in the lead I she's used her burner account to vote for Googie. Oh, yeah. i'm gonna <laughs> slant the votes with my burner twitter account sure oh. all right well uh time to think what say what we think about the drinks? Two houses brewing co raspberry pie sour. 
Man. I give that a nice 9 out of 10. I'd like to have that on a patio in a glass. Mm. Going on strictly taste alone. And I'd love to go to two houses and have their pizza. I'm going to give it a 7. Uh, I like the can. I like the size. I think the taste was a little bit underwhelming, unfortunately. But uh, it, very easy drinking. Still really good. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I wish it didn't. Fives. I wish it didn't spray all over me. Yeah, but other that's than it. that, really I good. I did drop the can before we that started. That was brutal. Dude, l- look at the dents that this man and left on the can. I just gave it to you. I was like, like I don't want that Two minutes before yeah, we started filming. You didn't even try and save the <laughs> no. fucking beer. You're just like, no. well, it's falling. You looked at it and you went, here you go. Uh, before Here's we go, good. I want to say I wanted to play an improv guy- game with you guys, but I think we'll do it next week. It was called Switch It and Pitch It. Do you guys think you'd be able to play an improv game next week? I have no fucking idea what you're I'm terrible at improv, but it will be funny. Switch it and pitch it. Yeah, it's about TV shows. You'll like it, Mariah. I think I'll be good at this. Yeah, maybe next week we'll play it. Unlike Sam forgetting his dad's bag spaghetti. (gasps) We were supposed to eat bag spaghetti on this week's podcast. I forgot about that until now. Logan, insert the shame music here. I I fucked up. There's no way to... Shame. There's no way to put it in any other way. I All just right. fucked well, up. Before we that. go, can we think of any more things to get producer Logan to do before we sign off? No, why? We're I'm done. just teasing him. Jesus, okay. All right, well, thanks for listening. Bye. bye. Hit that outro, Logan. <laughs> Say bye to Googie. <laughs> You've been listening to X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. You want more? Then tune into X Afternoons with these two live on Calgary's Alternative X92.9, Monday through Friday, 2 to 7 p.m. Mountain Time at x929.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of X After Hours downloaded weekly to whatever device you use. Now let's make like the black-eyed peas and get it started.